teammates. A lot of teammates call you like one of the swaggiest dudes on the team. Right. Just notice you're wearing Air Monarchs, kind of like the grandpa right. sneaker, right? Yeah. Is that part of the swag? I mean, they just offer, you know, so much structural support, you know, and they just, they're kind of heavy, so it kind of makes me feel light when I take them off, so I like them. Do you like the nickname you've been given, Big Ball Bass? Yeah, I mean, I don't think I had any control over that, so I'm, I'm cool with it. Talks the AFC Player of the Month. Um, tell us a little bit about what we think about that award and just how things have been going so well for you. Yeah, um, yeah, it's an incredible um, achievement. I'm super humbled. I'm honored. But for me, I look at it as more of a team award, especially for Reed and Matt, um, my holder and long snapper, because without them, we wouldn't have even had a chance to be that. So, um, yeah, I'm super grateful for it. And I think it just is a, te a just attest to just our routine and our process and always, you know, coming in and trying to get better every day. And um, it ended up working out this month for us, and I'm super happy about it. How much more comfortable do you feel now having you know a year under your belt and now we're a couple months into the season you know after your rookie season yeah. last year yeah I mean I feel more comfortable just after every game because I get more experience whether it's good whether it's bad I learn from it um and just continuously building our relationship so our relationship's growing as a team and I feel like that just gives me confidence as well so when you say sharing the award do you get them dinner do you trade off the trophy every <laughs> week what do we do yeah I'll probably get them dinner for sure we'll have a we'll have a good time how do you find out you won such an award? Um, we were actually in a meeting uh, with just the specialists, Heath and Smiley, and Reed looked on his phone and saw it. And uh, I knew we had a chance for it, but we just didn't know for sure. And then he said something, and we all clapped it up, celebrated, and it was a cool moment. Smiley, you need some of those kicks in some bad weather games, whether it was wind or rain, and, and some pretty far kicks um, with that weather. Um, when you're in a game like that, do you kind of invite the challenge of, of it being tougher when it's rainy or windy, especially in Buffalo when you really don't know what you're going to get? And we've had some pretty terrible yeah. weather this yeah. season. Um, I mean, yeah, it's you can't control it, so you just try to work with it. Because if you try to go against it, um, you're never going to win. But we do a good job in practice because it's always, you know, you never know what you're going to get in practice with the wind, with the rain. And we do a job just to prepare ourselves for the game. and. Yeah, you got to look at it. You have to be excited for it, and you have to look at it as a challenge. As if not, you're already going into into the game down. So, uh, Stefan Diggs said that any time like you make a kick or you know your 57 yarder, he said that he was like right out on the field to come yeah. congratulate you. Yeah. Um, how cool is it to have skill players that really appreciate the work that you put in and how you can help the team? I mean. It means the world to me because you know I watch them in practice going hard and making big plays in the game and for them to show appreciation to me man it means the world to me and I want to do anything I can just to help them out and help the team out. Tyler, how have you been able to be so consistent so early on in your career? Um, I think it just goes back to just my routine um, and not worrying about the outcomes rather just focus on the process and I just kind of let go of what I want to happen and just focus on what I can't control and let everything else kind of handle itself. On kickoffs, you guys have a pretty good at keeping them inside the 25. Like, I mean, is that pretty much, uh, you know, a win? Uh, you know, what, what, what kind of, uh, just what do you think yeah. about the, I you mean, know, the ability of the coverage to, you know, obviously you want to yeah. gain a yard or two of there. Yeah, I think if we can get them inside the 25, then it gives our defense a better chance to stop them from driving down the field. Um, and, you know, we have a really good group and we train really hard, so that just attests to how, you know, good they are because we're able to hang it up and we trust them to go and make the play. So that's a, that speaks volume for them. How from Jacksonville? From Jacksonville? Probably six and a half hours. Yes. Um, I got my mom, dad, grandma, and a few other people. So probably a handful of them. The weather's probably going to be good. I mean, Jacksonville, I presume. I mean, do you do a like? Do you get any scouting report on the conditions of kicking in a new stadium when you go to a place for the first time? Or Jacksonville, you're not worried about. I mean, yeah, we always do a scouting report, whether we play at home or away, yeah. but. I never get my hopes up because more likely they always get disappointed. So there could be a tropical storm coming in. We have no idea. So I just, yeah, I'm, I'm don't worry about that until the game. The hopes up disappointment is that specific to football or is that a mantra for you in life? <laughs> <laughs> uh, just I would just say with the weather, you can't. I mean, I don't know. Have you become very untrustworthy with weather reports now? Yeah. Is that like yeah. <laughs>
especially here, you, you, you just train for the worst and expect the worst because if you expect the best, you're probably not going to get that. Has your grandma been able to see you play yet yeah. since you've been in the NFL? Yeah, she came to the Colts game last year, um, and then she's been to a few this year. How cool is that to just, you know, now that fans are consistently allowed back in the stadium and things like that, to, to have her there? Yeah, it's, it's cool. I mean, it's, you know, she was always there for my high school games, college games, so it's cool to share the experience with her this year. Absolutely. Has your advice from Kick It Straight changed at all? No, just kick it far, kick it straight. <laughs> yeah, that's it.